Hey everybody! Today, we'll be taking a look at the fractionator tower of the fluidized catalytic cracking, or FCC unit. The fractionator tower splits the vapor into different products. The products can vary depending on feed composition and tower operating conditions. Typical product cuts are overhead gases, naphtha, diesel, and heavy fuel oils. Let's join our operators in the field for the walkthrough. What unit are we looking at now? We are still looking at the FCC unit. This is the fractionator tower, which cools the FCC reactor vapors and splits them into different products. The hot product stream from the reactor enters the fractionator tower at around 500 degrees Celsius and begins cooling by mixing with the slurry from the slurry recirculation line. Slurry drops out in the bottom of the tower and is pumped out of the tower and cooled. Some of it is sent out as a heavy fuel oil product and the rest is recirculated back into the tower to cool the incoming vapor. Why is it called a slurry product? It contains a significant amount of solids, which drop out in the bottom of the tower with the heaviest hydrocarbons. The solids consist of catalyst particles, coke and solid hydrocarbons. The temperature of the tower reduces as you go higher up the tower, which causes lighter products to condense into liquids. Heavy cycle oil and light cycle oil flow out of the tower to a stripping vessel, which helps to remove entrained vapors. Vapors stripped from the liquid flow back into the tower. The liquids are pumped out and cooled and then recirculated to the tower or sent downstream for further treatment. Overhead gases flow through a condenser which cools the gases and causes water and naphtha to drop out as liquids. The remaining gas is sent downstream to a compressor. Water is separated from the hydrocarbon liquid, which is removed from the system and sent to a water treatment unit so it can be reused. The naphtha is either recycled back into the tower or is sent downstream for further treating, before being sent to storage for gasoline blending. That seemed a lot simpler than the reactor part of the unit. You're right, it's not quite as complex as the reactor, but it can still be quite hazardous, as the fractionator tower operates at very high temperatures above the auto-ignition temperature of the hydrocarbons inside the tower. If there is any loss of containment, the hydrocarbons could auto-ignite, causing a fire. Why not operate at a lower temperature to prevent that? There are a few reasons. The viscosity of some of the heavier streams increases at lower temperatures, making it harder to circulate, and it is important to operate at these temperatures to separate the products efficiently and to get good product quality. We're going to be doing a HAZOP on this unit soon. It would be good for you to sit in on it to get a better understanding of the risks of this unit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our online Process Hazard Analysis Certification course. The course includes a year of email support and covers topics including HAZOP, LOPA, and SIL.